and check for any specific lag. So I just told them, hey, you do a little bit of a button check for me and see how it feels just before they start into the real mm -hmm. match. Uh, that's usually what I recommend to a lot of players. Yeah, so we're going to be seeing Wolu going up against Shulk. Um, this is like a, a really interesting matchup. A lot of what Shulk relies on is going to be able to like uh, quality link his opponent, trying to sort of force them into a lot of uncomfortable situations uh, and, and sort of jump in on them. But Wolu here definitely has the aerial mobility to be able to air to air Shulk uh, quite consistently, to be able to get to where he needs and to be able to run away. So I think um, in this matchup, especially like 9-2 Pupai, like going into this does not have uh, much incentive to be the one holding and pressing forward. Yeah, correct. I think that's the one, for, for sure, for sure I would tell people like Shulk is one of the characters you have to, he has a really high skill ceiling, I would say. It, it can't necessarily tell everybody, like, it all depends on how you are as a player or thing like that, but I think for Shulk as a whole, if you're able to master a lot of Shulk's Monado arts, and this is, this should be a pretty much an easy matchup. Yes, you have to worry about particularly air-to-air -air combat with Wario, because Wario's aerials can be pretty fast, can be really sticky, really dangerous to get hit by the way they confirm to one another, but for sure, I think Shulk has the upper hand here. It's going to be all depending on how Ben is able to play it. For sure. So going into this first game, they're going to be opting for the battlefield. Um, this is a bit of a stage like where Wario definitely has the ability to be able to move around those platforms. Um, so it's just really going to be able. It's going to be really up to Ben to be able to catch a lot of his landings. I mean, just like that nine super pie, already getting a strong nail out, able to link it into an up air, but really good choice to go to shield out. they falling out of it a little bit early. Yeah, the earlier you can avoid most of those combos from Wario, the better. That way you can kind of just try to take back the center stage. I think this is what I'm liking from Ben. Takes a little bit of calm presence here. Like you said, goes to the shield art, gets out of that combo as soon as possible because you do not want to get carried off the stage with Wario's sticky hitboxes that he has, especially when he's trying to edge guard you. For sure. Oh, and just like that, Ben right now is doing a really good job of controlling space, really making the most out of that disjointed forward air. Um, sort of just like forcing it 9 Super Pie into a lot of these uncomfortable situations. And um, I just feel like 9 Super Pie just looking for any means to initiate at this point. Keeping Shulk in a corner is exactly what you need to be doing, but finds a stage spike. 9 Super Pie unfortunately going to be missing that tech. Yeah, and it's really rough too because like that's one thing that Shulk can really accelerate is when you're off stage, he'll hit you with a forward air. You either have to worry about being too far off the stage or having to go for a stage deck. And at that point, it just becomes a scary situation. But I'm really enjoying how Ben is trying to hold this lead using jump arts. That's something that we were used to seeing a little bit from Nico in Smash 4, where you would kind of hold the lead with a jump art. But unfortunately, when you're charging smash attack with smash art, you will take that extra knockback. Yeah, for sure. And I, I just think that back here is uh, inherently strong enough of a move that uh, no matter what uh, Ben was in, it still would have probably been able to kill. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty nice, consistent way for Wario to be able to connect those stocks. And just like that, once again, able to get the nail into the up air. 9 Super Pie is so, so good with linking it. You know, the timing on actually getting the double hit of neutral air like that is, uh, it's not easy. You know, it's a, it's a pretty specific window. Yeah, and if you're able to get that window down right, there's a lot of damage you will call, in, call into your opponent. Good on Ben to go off the stage, wait to see the reaction on 9 Super Pie, and then come to, back trying to hold stage. But unfortunately, Super Pie will get this throw. Ben immediately getting out. I think that's the one thing you're right about Ben so far through Amgar. He's looking to avoid a lot of Wario's combos. Yeah, for sure. That's, re that's really like sort of um, what you have to do against Wario. You have to really not let him get a lot of his combo starters. But similarly, you have to know how to be able to challenge a lot of his aerial mobility. It's based a lot of retreating aerials. Right now, Ben going to be landing on safely. 9 Super Pie able to catch it. Uh, not able to find the ledge trap, though. Not anticipating the aggressive option. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, there's going to be not much of an aggression from Ben, but I do like the standoff and shield. That's usually something that players try to evaluate, especially at the ledge. When you're caught at the ledge, you want to be careful coming back center stage and i have to commend nine super pie didn't want to commit to anything laggy like didn't want to commit to something unnecessary just try to immediately slowly get his way back on the stage but ben was and able again, to send it out with yeah, the grab yeah back was just able to take that stock that's like a huge call that's the second time in a row this is basically basically saying to ben hey you can't be committing under the platform that much against wario nine super pie is waiting for those smash attacks waiting for you just to like miss base and up tilt through something able to jump over it not able to get anything started because of shield art um, you just have to wait it out, burn it out, and then, you know, continue the onslaught. Yeah. Switching to speed right here, able to actually just kind of get in and out of the neutral between him and Wario. Able to use the arrows as well. Always important to notice that Shulk, it only changes his character properties when he goes into the Monado Arts, not any of his frame data. A really good up behind the shield. Stops the aggression there. 
Yeah, you still have to just be able to challenge him on a lot of his target up, still be able to call out a lot of his jumps and just like understand wh where do I play for the shield? Uh, where do I actually start holding forward? Nine Super Pie is doing an excellent job of holding onto the stock. Ben looking to get that late hit of up air, not able to connect it quite yet. And this is where it gets really, really scary because wow, Smash Hearts is an absolute menace. But you have to keep in mind, Waft not gonna be coming into play and that's gonna be the failure. Wow, not yet though. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be it from Fair, especially with Smash Hard, but Ben looking for an opportunity to just try to read water coming back on stage. Him. Yeah. That forward tool's got some range. That forward tool's got some range. Yeah, that was, that was a bit of like a funky hitbox as well. Uh that hit that hit from like behind Shulk. Um but like that is a common occurrence with like a lot of goals. Uh because you uh period of vulnerability, you know, still kinda happens. Uh, when when your model hasn't completely shifted over yet, right? And then your environmental collision box resets and all that. Um, yeah. Either way, uh, I feel like for most of that game, uh, Nine Super Pi was just like really, really struggling to be able to get anything after a couple of hits. Uh, Vance was just, uh, excuse me, um, Ben was able to uh, get out of it pretty quickly with Shield Art. Um, and then just did a really, really good job of just sort of spacing a lot of aerials and catching a lot of Nine Super Pi's jumps. Yeah. I think you're, you're, you said it really well, too. If you're able to stop Wario's game plan of how he gets the damage in you, how he's able to carry off the stage, if you're able to just stay within that specific zone of having that mentality as a matchup against the character, you'll be doing pretty fine. And I think Ben did really well. For sure, Knight Super Pi wasn't behind at all, because once the Waffle was pretty much activated or pretty much set to start, as through, uh, you saw that middle platform interaction. Like, Ben had to do a lot to respect that and be extra careful, even with how small that shield got. Yeah, for sure. Now we're going to be seeing the switch to the Wii Fit Trainer. This is somebody that we've also seen uh, 9 Super Pi play as well. This can definitely really, really change things up a little bit. Uh, Shulk is going to have to be careful about the way that he jumps. He starts getting a little bit too linear or predictable with it. He's going to be eating a lot of headers. Taking the time to go through the deep breathing. Tries to get a neutral off of the header. Had the right idea, but not getting the double hit. So unfortunate. Yeah. All right, Ben doing an excellent job just trying to hold the ledge. Using the aerials, the reason why you want to go for something like forward air and air, it's just the way that the sword swings the wide arc, the way the hitbox lasts. You're able to potentially call an opponent's way back on the stage. Wow, and I have to say, that situational awareness from 9 Super Pi was just excellent within that moment. They threw the header, they saw it bounce, and they thought to themselves, yeah, if they try to punish me for going for deep breathing kill, I will be able to punish them off of the rebound of the header. That was like such a smart and intricate little scenario there. Uh, we fit getting stocks the way that she usually does with F tilt. That move, man, uh, that, that move does everything for her. <laughs> that move does definitely a lot for Weefit Trainer. All right, well, Ben here at the ledge, Smash Art activated, using a little bit of a dash down, see if he can find a grab or an opportunity to go for an aerial or a forward tilt, but unfortunately missing it. This is 9 Super Pi's turn here, just trying to get back to center stage. And I have to commend 9 Super Pi. Look at the way that he's trying to go for the full, the, sorry, the grab there, but unfortunately, in the middle of deep breathing, Ben gives out some aggression. Yeah, but still finds a deep breathing, only punching the end lag out of it. Ben really recognizing the situation. 9 Super Pi had no more stalls left, couldn't really mix up the recovery, was able to capitalize on that. And just like that, they've been uh, able to even up that game that header is going to be able to call out shulk in the end of that back here, just able to get right under that hitbox nine super pie doing a good job of just sort of controlling the stage but once again oh. ben is just picking all these aggressive options out of the corner and nine super pie isn't ready yeah not ready at all that forward it was definitely going to send nine super pie into the blast zone honestly that was a good catch from ben seeing how ben was able to catch the directional air dodge on the landing and then even using the backslash to perfectly time it to snap onto the ledge what a play from ben yeah, and it was like spaced in such a way that 9 Super Pi, even like after repairing, was not able to punish it at all. Uh, there was very little that anybody could do to challenge a recovery from that kind of a position. And right now, 9 Super Pi just needs to be able to find the stock uh, any way possible. Yeah. Down tilt, Buster are activated. This will be able to do more damage in terms of percent. Great use of the backslash auto snapping the ledge. The timing is pretty tight, but if you can get it out, you will have a consistent hitbox on the way wow, back to the stage. Wow, and just barely going to be living that one. That down air is not going to be able to connect. Nine Super Pi going to be stuck at the ledge, but honestly, as we fit, uh, ledge is friend. You know, it's exactly where you want to be. But, ah, oh, so unfortunate for Ben. They had the right idea with that commitment. They were almost able to get it, but not quite yet. Um, really good use of the shield out there, not, you know, not really letting the 9 Super Pi uh, find the up throw into the up air. Um, you know, 
Wow. I have to say, Ben has been going through a lot more downhills than I've seen from any other Shulk before. It's good too. It's got like it's it's two hitboxes essentially. A lot of Shulk, some of Shulk's aerials have necessarily two big hitboxes, the starting and the ending one. So it's good because you can potentially catch nine super high's recovery, but also just the aggression, knowing that the the farther that you are away from Weaver Trainer, the worse it would wow. be. So the closer you are with that forwarder, the better things become. Yeah, and nine super high they're just kind of sticking with the flow chart a little bit, going to be kind of blowing up for it. That was good awareness from Ben and recognizing like, hey. I have no reason to be respecting WeFit going through deep breathing at that position. There really is no reason to be uh, respecting WeFit at that position. Um, you know, she's just charging. She's so vulnerable. She can pick it.